I'm Jennifer and this is Stars Leo. Now there's a lot of activity still going on in your solar 10th house. So certainly last week we had solar eclipse there and this is like a time where it signifies the start of something new. It's certainly a time where if you've been looking for work then you can almost you know stumble across um, somebody who's going to be beneficial to you with you on a career and work level um, or with business. And uh, the uh, the solar eclipse is like it's a, it's a more intense energy. There's also last week to going with that solar eclipse. There was also a conjunction with uh, Mars and um, uh, communication planet Mercury uh, with the Moon as well. So it's it's like a huge time and huge energy all happening in your solar tenth house career and work. So if you didn't find something amazing that you know crossed your path or realization that, that you've got from last week, then that can certainly still happen um, this week. You still have the Sun and Mars in this area of your chart um, which says to me that you're probably very very busy uh, Leo and whenever Mars is wherever Mars affects a certain area of your life you and particularly when it's to do with business you want to make sure that you use that area that energy productively in other words get yourself organized be careful you don't um, Spend time on people, things, situations that really are not going to count in at the end of the day in your big picture. So it's a good idea, I always think, when Mars is in your 10th house, to, if you don't already, to get up and set your goals. I said it the night before. and or So whenever it's good for you. And set like your daily goals. What do you want to achieve in that day? And try to stick to that without getting distracted because the Mars energy Energy can be very distracting as well. Um, okay, so this week you still have at the start of the week up until the 16th communication planet Mercury in your 10th house of business. Um, so news can certainly come through. Now it does move, it will transit on the 16th into your um, 11th house, more to do with friends, groups, working with establishments, um, particularly around uh, charity and be able, being able to give back uh, is very positive. But before that happens on the 13th, there is a square between um, Venus in your sign and um, Neptune. And Neptune is in your solar second house, all to do with money and, and other people's resources among some other things, but let's focus on that for the moment. At the end of the week, on the 18th, on the weekend, um, Mercury, which will be in your 11th house by then, is also going to square Neptune. Okay, so you want to be careful with communication. Uh, don't, don't assume that somebody's got the message that you want, and if you're working with establishments or groups of people, um, then make sure if you're delegating that they are passing on the right message as well. Okay, and certainly anything to do with money, you want to be just giving you the heads up. You want to just sort of double check that everything is the way that you want it to be. Okay. Uh, all right, now let's have a, a look at love. So with Venus um, sitting there in your solid ninth house, uh, 11th house, I'm sorry. Um, you really need to, if you're looking for love, then look for someone who can be a good friend as well because, you know, when the initial attraction, uh, you know, fades off, which sometimes it does, then you want to really have something that sits underneath that attraction and that's a good companion and friendship, okay? All right, now have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.